Thoughts on reverse luching the luchers. How to practice energetic Aikido against bullies. This video blog goes out to anyone who has ever been bullied. Bullying has been a recurring motif in my life. I was viciously bullied in elementary and high school. And now, for practical purposes, it feels as if here I am in high school all over again in my 50s in a kind of unexpected deja vu. Here's the relevant post to get you up to speed if you're not already in the loop. Not surprisingly, the theme of bullying also occupies a prominent place in my fiction. The protagonist of my beloved novel Snooze, a story of awakening, Max Diver, suffers intense bullying in sixth grade, leading to an abrupt spiritual awakening of his dream body. Later, when faced with the distinct possibility of actual death, in a pivotal confrontation with flying dinosaurs, referred to as Thunderbirds, in his hero's journey into the other world of sleep, the fruit of Max's initiation via bullying blossoms as a viable energetic strategy for dealing with anything that might be called bullying. Karul appeared to spin the ebony pit on top of the white avocado, like a ball bearing in his direction. A shimmering beam of energy erupted from the device, making the air dance all around like a heat mirage as it zapped Max with a direct hit. He was ready. Similar to an Aikido master channeling and amplifying his opponent's own energy against him. He absorbed the pacifier's beam, only to project it back outward in a rapidly expanding sphere. The effect was like a peace bomb exploding. Wave upon wave of pacifying energy pulsed to the farthest horizons. Disoriented, the Thunderbirds simply sailed away on the breeze. I refer to this way of dealing with threats as reverse luching the luchers. In case you're unfamiliar with the term, luche refers to vital energy, prana, kundalini, etc., when extracted from living beings for use by someone or something else. As I explain it in another of my novels, Kali the Destroyer. Luche is a hyperdimensional energy given off by the human soul when traumatized. The archons parasitically feed on it. Think of it as their simulacrum of kundalini. In my most recent experience of bullying, this time in the highly public eye of YouTube, my energetic Aikido has been to not publicly name, shame while staying. Firmly grounded in a discussion of facts and ideas in the healthy spirit of academic debate. The key is to let the chest-thumping bullies broadcast their bullshit and call you out by name. While absorbing, transforming all of their cultish energy of hate and projection back into usable vital force. For yourself and your platforms. I consider this a form of non-violence and peaceful disobedience in the vein of Henry David Thoreau. And it can be very effective against cults and cultists of all stripes. You'll find much more on this subject in my new book. On the all-important topic of personal power, as I explain in the world cult and you. Extraction of louche for utilization by the God of this world is perhaps the most pernicious of all cult consequences. And it's probably the main reason for the existence of cults to begin with. Furthermore, to be noted, certain prominent figures in the truther community continue to insist on poo-pooing the notion of louche as the energetic currency of this fake realm. As I see it, anyone dissing Lush simply can't be trusted because either 1. They're naive and lack discernment or 2. They're minions of our spiritual adversary. My inevitable conclusion relative to the world cult steeped in denial of what's actually going on here, systemically, in this hypnotic, reality, dreamscape. Unless we're willing to do the difficult work of examining our own ties to cultism and stepping out of slavery into sovereignty, we're something else's dinner. Food for thought anyway. Please buy me a cup or two of creative fuel. Start your free 7-day trial at saulluckman.substack.com.